All right, so this weekend was the All-Star game, and then I noticed that we have two Yoruba people that was shining, you know what I'm saying, and, and they in the All-Star game, you know. And then when they call these people's names, you know, Ade Tokumbo, his name is Ade Tokumbo, means crown, born abroad or overseas. The crown is overseas or crown is born overseas or something like that. Ade means crown and I think Tokumbo means overseas. So Ade Tokumbo is the crown is overseas. You know what I mean? And then you have Victor, Victor, but you know, like, in Nigeria, they say his name is Victor, 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 or Ladipo, you know. But I understand where they're coming from when they let people just pronounce it to the best of their uh, ability. Question for me. How how do people pronounce your name? Because all Larry Sanders and a bunch of other players have tried, but they failed. Oh, you don't know how to say his name? Oh, no. Antika, Antika, Put, That's tough, yeah. Oh, gee. Giannis. <laughs> My name is Giannis Atleto Kumbo. There you are, folks. It's to pronounce the names, but as far as the Yoruba people like me and the rest of us around the world, we want you to say the name right for the masses of the people so they know how to pronounce our names. You know what I'm saying? Stop trying to, you know, uh, English size our names. So you're telling me you're going to go out there and wing that as well? Oh, definitely, most definitely. That's you know you're not. You know you're not allowed to lie. We're on television, right? You can't lie on television. <laughs> you, you, you probably can. That's fair. So we have a confirmed lie from Victor Oladipo that he is absolutely not going out there and winging his slam dunk contest, but perhaps winging this dance performance here at halftime. Definitely, it's going to be awesome. Can we expect you to be holding a microphone during the slam dunk contest tomorrow? Tonight. Know. It's tonight. You're hours away. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> All right, guys. All right. <laughs> we don't got a lot from Victor Oladipo. We're going to let him get out there and continue putting together his performance. Even though, you know, like me, I'm born and raised in America, so my name is Ade. You know what I'm saying? But ever since I was young, they was calling me Addy. Matter of fact, that name is given to me. That's my name. You know what I mean? And that name was given to me, you know what I mean, by my late great-grandmother. Not a great-grandmother, but she was my um, babysitter. We called her Grandma in D.C., you know what I mean? And, and at first, I thought she was really my grandmother until, you know, I got older, you know. And being, you know, us in the diaspora, you know what I mean, we are kind of like uh, knowledgeable about your about pride. And you know what I'm saying? A lot of us, we don't have the pride that we need to have. I used to get made fun of all the time in school because I was African and I had, you know, nappy hair and I was extra dark skin. And back then, dark skin wasn't really in style. You know, the light skin, curly hair guys took all the girls. <laughs> so I was almost ashamed to be African. And like, like other cultures, hot. You know what I mean? Like the Chinese people, they got pride. And the Mexicans, they got pride. Hispanics got pride. You know, you, you go to Brazil, you see Brazilian pride, but as far as like African or the different tribes in, in Africa, you know what I mean? We kind of like try to shut up, sh sh shy away from our traditions and our culture and, and who we are, you know, because it's a, it's a, it's a stigma attached to it, you know what I mean? And, um, a lot of people like to go into that Yoruba people was into idol worship and you know what I'm saying? And now a lot of us Yoruba people, we into Christianity and stuff like that. So they want to shy away from, you know, their origins and, and the facts of their existence. You know what I'm saying? But not me. You know, I we need that Yoruba pride. And, and it start with our celebrities and the people that's on our television. You know, right now I'm watching Sha. And it's Tosin. Tosin is on shot. You know what I mean? He he he's playing the 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 drug dealer, the young drug dealer boy. You know what I'm saying? And and his name is Tosin. And I knew he was Yoruba as soon as I saw him. And I looked him up, and I knew he was. I I, I just got a knack from pointing out Yoruba people. You got Roti Me on power. You know what I'm saying? And you know Banga. 
played on the wire, Chris Bartlow. We got Ajay, you know what I mean, who played for the Eagles. You know what I mean? Yorubas, we are shining right now. And I need y'all to have a pride and, and so I can be, you know what I'm saying? So I can be a little bit more giddy about who we are. You know what I'm saying? So this is just a, a public announcement to all the Yorubas. Just, just have pride. Be prideful about who you is. You know what I mean? We all over the world. Thank you. The only place I know to go when my spurs is slow My radio uplifted by these sounds and these marvelous flows Keep them coming in droves with these songs that I wove Hard big as the moon In my car bumping this, see the way that I zoom Let my music diffuse in your airwaves Now they loving my tunes No budget, but a nigga still does this Distributed to the public Only if they want it, keep that shit 100 With this music keep it coming, just doing what I want it Just another can a low nigga who done it got my own styles and doubts are not covered never ever speaking rubber so my songs won't tarnish 10 years later y'all still gon' want it and 10 years later i'm still up on it told y'all catalogs enormous in my basement making hot tracks it's the furnace that flavor is all in my name.